Hello guys, welcome to another Jira administration tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, we will continue with the crowd configuration and try to integrate crowd with Jira application, right? So if you see on my screen, I am on the crowd support page wherein I am at the adding an application within um, uh, the crowd. So there are mainly, you know, like uh, two steps so step one is basically you have to configure crowd to talk to your application so your application might be your Jira or uh, your confluence or bamboo whatever uh, Atlassian product you are using uh, you need to sort of configure crowd in a similar way and your application in a similar way to integrate crowd and the application that you want to talk that you want these uh, applications to talk to crowd now uh, the step one will configure the crowd to talk to the application uh, in in my case it's jira uh, software that i'm using that i want to integrate with crowd uh, so i'll configure crowd first and then we'll go to jira and uh, step two which is uh, configure the application which is configure jira to talk to crowd so first configure crowd to talk to jira and then the other way around go to jira and configure jira to talk to crowd uh, if you are using Confluence, you do similar steps within the Confluence. You first configure uh, in the crowd and then you go back to the Confluence and configure Confluence so that both the applications can talk to each other. So let's get started. Uh, we'll go to the crowd dashboard first and then configure the application. So just go to the applications section here uh, the tab and click on add application right so what i'll do is i'll i need to configure the crowd to talk to jira uh, and uh, communicate with jira so i'll just select the application type as jira i'll provide the name of the application uh, rcv hyphen crowd uh, some description there and the password so click next now you will have the connection details right so this is my um, jira url which is also on my local host uh, and just provide the remote ip so because this is the local host just um, 127.0.0.1 if you are running your crowd or jira instance in your network somewhere you have configured your network uh, within within your uh, you know local network then you can provide the specific ip address uh, but in our case it's evaluation purpose and i have installed all these ins applications on my machine so that's the that's the reason i'm providing the local host so if i click next uh, then what are the directories uh, that you want this application used for authentication and authorization so uh, we have only one directory at the moment so that's internal directory and that i that i want to use i'll just check that and these are the groups so these are the groups that you might need to add so by default they won't be added here so what's all groups you want to add so you just simply uh, select the groups that you want to add in your jira software and click next so once you're on the confirmation page um, you just check all the details and click on add application right so now you can see that this application has been added and you save it right so the step one has been completed now okay so now you know the name of this application now what you need to do is you need to go back to step two so configure the application to talk to crowd and in our instance the application is jira so we are going into the jira dashboard and we'll go to the administration section of jira i'll provide the admin password there now in the uh, administration section if you go to the user management right so in the user management you have multiple options so at the moment if you see the directory is all internal directory any users in jira are coming from the jira internal directory now why are we configuring crowd is to show you how 
the users can come from the external directory as well so in in our case crowd we are using as an external directory uh, and in enterprise level there could be external directories like ldap or um, uh, microsoft active directory that you might need to configure so that's the whole purpose of installing crowd configuring crowd and then linking crowd with jira so here if you see uh, on this user management page below user directories you have the user directories link if you click that you have jira internal directory and the option to add the directory so if you click on this add directory you have different directory options and types available uh, you have microsoft active directory internal with ldap authentication or ldap directory or atlassian crowd so we'll select atlassian crowd and click on next now we'll provide the name of the crowd server okay so here if you see this is the application name that we provided for the crowd and so here we can provide so application name goes exactly as it was in the crowd and then here i'll just say rcv academy crowd server and then the server url so what is the url for your crowd server you simply copy this url because it's localhost at the moment if it is on your network location you just replace this localhost with the ip address of your crowd server and then the application password whatever password you use to you set up while we were configuring this rcv crowd application so i'll provide that password and that's it so rest everything i'll leave it to default i'll read um, leave the crowd permissions to read only uh, if you change this to read write basically jira uh, will have uh, so any updates in jira users will also update the crowd um, uh, you know like members and group permission so that's not recommended uh, if required you can do it but um, a uh, single source of truth for your users and group is your uh, directory uh, or uh, active directory or ldap server so you can leave that to read only and then in advanced settings i'll just leave it as default and then go ahead and test settings so let's see how the test goes so now you can see the connection test was successful right so we have created application in our crowd uh, to connect with jira and this application was to connect uh, or open connectivity with jira and then we went into jira to have uh, to do the configuration of the server configuration settings with application name and password and then we tested the connection with all the details and the connection was successful now if you save and test you will see the connection available in your user directory so now you can see rcv academy crowd server directory name and uh, the type is a class in crowd and that has been added in your user directory now this has been never synchronized what that means is there the the users that are uh, users and groups that are there in crowd hasn't been um, synchronized with the jira instance yet so you can just go ahead and click on synchronize uh, and then both the applications will be in sync so full synchronization is complete and now if you go to the users you should be able to see the crowd server that we configured right so now you can see the users that were there in crowd and groups that were there in crowd server also start appearing in your jira instance right so that is how you are going to configure your crowd server and then connect with your jira instance and this is sort of similar it doesn't matter what ldap server you are configuring uh, the steps would be pretty much similar even in your enterprise level 
um, configuration or setup you simply have to follow these two simple steps to configure your external uh, user directories to talk to the other Atlassian applications be it Confluence be it Jira etc so hope you like this tutorial uh, and with this tutorial we are um, sort of almost or we are finally set up with the external uh, directory server setup and then we have pulled those users and groups of the external directory which is the crowd atlassian crowd into our jira instance now in the next tutorials we will go through the user and group management um, in detail within the jira administration and the re and we'll also cover why i have included this whole crowd uh, tutorial and setup uh, because there is a reason to to add the external directory so that it gives you a clear understanding of of the user and group management in atlassian jira administration thank you very much for watching please do share and subscribe